In related news, police sounding the alarm over a disturbing online trend that's led to an increasing number of residents falling victim to fraudsters. Fern Carey has the details. Police warning members of the public about a spike in online fraud in recent weeks. Director of the Financial Crimes Investigation Branch, ASP Anthony McCartney, says fraudsters are becoming more creative in their attempt to lure unsuspecting victims. And he's urging residents to be extremely vigilant, especially online. As persons are contacting members of the public purporting to be workers or employees of a financial institution, uh, in particular, some of the local um, banks that we have here. Um, these poisons are quite crafty, and in most instances, they would present a set of schemes or present information in order to get you, the members of the public, to give them particular certain sensitive information as it relates to their online banking. Crafty fraudsters are also hoping their victims will fall for this trick. Uh, so they are asking persons to download particular um, applications on their electronic devices and once that is done we find that in certain instances uh, the members of the public would um, not have access to their account information uh, they are locked out and monies are transferred from their accounts. Now residents are also being advised not to save their personal information on public computers as it can become a doorway for fraudsters. Another piece of advice we would want members of the public to know um, persons asking you to transfer money outside of, of the country, uh, that should raise a red flag. Um, that is a no-no. McCartney believes the scam artists live in the Bahamas and are part of an international criminal network snaring victims across the country. He offered this advice on how to protect yourself online. So we're just asking persons to do uh, due diligence. Um, just remember that the banking institutions um, would not contact you via telephone and they would not ask you to provide that information over the phone. So it is very simple. We, if you have a concern, if you are contacted, please go into your financial institution and make an inquiry there. We're asking you not to give that sensitive information over the phone or via online um, by an app that, the, that these fraudsters may have asked you to download on your device. Police are encouraging victims of online fraud to reach out to the Financial Crimes Investigation Branch or the nearest police station to file an official complaint. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Fern Carey.